Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady V. I hope you guys are having a great day. Happy Thursday to each and every one of you. I am having an amazing day so far. Y'all, it's early. And I know y'all like, why is you dressed all up? It's early like this. It's 10, 57 a.m. Guys, I'm actually just getting back home. Um, my son had to preach this morning. Well, not really preach, but he had to flow this morning in a morning glory service. So it didn't last long today because it's an evening service as well. So I'm just getting back home. I was like, let me go ahead and do a quick video before I hop out the car, change clothes and start um, recording for today. All right. So I want to stop by just do a little encouraging pep talk with you guys. Um, hoping that you are making the best and most productivity out of your day. Um, we have what for gift basket designers less than a month, less, less than a month, about three weeks, um, two and a half, three weeks span. Oh my gosh, let me hear up and get off this video. Oh my god, we do not have long at all, guys, to get prepared for Mother's Day. Okay, um, some of the questions that come up periodically um throughout the seasons of selling one is when will i go out to start selling mother's day is on sunday i believe what may 12th i will start probably that thursday okay i start normally that thursday so i'll have that thursday friday saturday and that sunday yes i do sell on mother's day no i do not worry about being celebrated on mother's day i don't worry about any of that i am a full-time entrepreneur um, so I can celebrate any day of the week. Folk be going back to work on Monday, baby. If I want to celebrate Mother's Day for the next two weeks, I can. But when it comes to the money, I'm going to be where the money reside, okay? And the money going to be residing on the streets all the way up until Mother's Day, on Mother's Day. The money going to be still flowing and I'm going to be still out there hustling, getting my money, okay? So um as far as when i will go out that's when i will go out maybe thursday if you are new to this you're new to the area that you're going to be vending at on the streets and yes on the streets i said on the streets that's what i brought to youtube that's what i brought to my boss buddies hit the streets regardless where you sell pop-up shops i'm gonna stand 10 toes down on it okay i'm gonna stand 10 toes down on this one okay I'm not saying that there's not anything proven um that may break this statistic but i'm gonna i'm i'm gonna pretty much stand 10 toes on it there is no place that will produce the amount of revenue that you make on the street whether it be a pop-up whether it be in a store because guess what i have a store i've had a brick and mortar business my whole entire life my whole entire journey of business since i was in my 20s i've always had a brick and mortar this is the first time in my life and it's getting ready to change um the first time in my life that i have not had or i'm not residing in a brick and mortar built building and that is simply because my husband and i just made a major purchase right before his death made a major purchase where for those of you that are new following me where we purchased um our church facility um with cash money the deed is in my hand well it ain't in my hands but it's under my bed okay cash money so with that being said i had to you know to work on building my revenue back up and i thought the best thing to do was to let go of the rental property um make an investment in um the facility that we have and then we'll revisit the business um aspect a couple of months later because the business that i do i can operate it out of my home but I can operate it more effectively out of a building, okay? Um, so I said all of that to say, I've been in stores, right? I, I've been in the store. I've been on the streets. I've been to pop-ups. I've been to flea markets. I've been to events. I've been to vending fairs, all of that. Nothing produced the revenue. And if, you've, if you have never sold on the streets, then you can attest to this. But for my boss buddies that have followed my lead, from the time of them getting on YouTube, finding my channel and following the strategies and the principles and the guidelines that I lay out, there is nobody that can tell you that they've made more money in those other areas than they have on the streets. Now, let me say this. I'm glad I brought this up because I wasn't even thinking about this. One of my um, subscribers and shout out to you, sweetie. I don't remember what your name was, but was saying that down south, 
um, street selling is better than up north. Now, my girl, Angela, I know she's going to pop on this video. She's always on all of my videos. Very, very supportive um, subscriber, not just subscriber, but prayer warrior. I love you. Thank you, Miss Angela. Um, she's up north. I have, uh, I got several. As, as a matter of fact, some of the channels are up north, okay? Um, I don't want to get into calling names because I'll forget somebody or miss somebody. But they're up north and they're making big time money, okay? So maybe if you're up north and you're not pulling in the revenue that you want to pull in, maybe think about shifting your location, okay? But this is not just a down south thing, okay? Trust me. The street sales is not just a down south thing. So don't fool yourself and, and fool yourself out of making thousands and thousands of dollars. You may may take you a while to get to that place, but I don't care whether you're in you know upstate New York, if you're in New Jersey, if you're in Baltimore, Maryland, you in North Carolina, like I am, wherever you are, you set the tone and the pace. Yes, demograph demographics matter and demographics change the trajectory or the outcome of your business. But at the end of the day, I have people that follow me from all over the world and the conclusion of the matter is that street sales produce the most revenue, okay? And I used this before, and I hate to use this analogy, but I'm a realist, okay? Those of you that know me, know me, okay? I am a realist, okay? I used to sell drugs years ago, right? Um, most people, now it's a different flow, okay? So it's, maybe I shouldn't even use this analogy, but where did you see your drug dealers at? Out on the streets. Now, I want a street drug dealer, but my husband was. I was in the house, per se, for people that came to the house. But I'm saying that to say, and I'm not promoting drug selling, okay? So, judge your mama, judge your grandma, okay? Or whoever you need to judge, but just don't judge me, all right? Um, and if you do, I don't care. Y'all know I don't care nothing about stuff like that. I'm very transparent. It is what it is with me. You know, as my son said, I brought all my friends with me. So I didn't come to YouTube looking for friends, okay? <laughs> I just came to teach what God told me to teach, okay? Um, but the sales are on the streets. The money is on the streets, okay? The hustle game is on the streets. Yes, you will make plenty of money in stores. Yes, you will make plenty of money sometimes at vending fairs, crafting fairs. But honey on the streets is where it is if that's not your testimony then there could be several things that's wrong okay there could be several things that's wrong you could be in the wrong location your presentation may not be up to par your pricing may not be up to par there are a whole lot of things that can affect the success of your business okay henceforth why you need to get a one-on-one -on -one with me okay i don't have time to after Mother's Day to do one-on-ones, but that's something that you definitely want to do if you're in question about your business or you're just new, getting started, you don't know where to start, you started, but you feel like quitting already, then you definitely want to get a one-on-one -on -one with me and let me take a look at your business more um, hands-on and more one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, you can watch the YouTube videos for free, same information I give. The only thing is I will be more one-on-one -on -one, hands-on with you looking directly at your product, looking at your setup, looking at your issues and your concerns versus dealing with thousands of people at one time. Okay. So I just wanted to bring that out to let you guys know, don't get discouraged if you do live in um, a Northern state, like some of my boss buddies are in Northern states as well, and they're getting their money and they're filling their bag. So it will behoove you to do the same thing, okay? Um, when you go out street vending, make sure you take your supplies with you, your scissors, take you some um, wrap, cellophane wrap or bags or whatever you use, take it with you, take some ribbon with you, definitely take some food with you, take a snack with you, um, take some beverages with you. It's May, okay? We heading on into the summer months, guys. It's gonna be hot out here, okay? This game is not for the weak is not for the faint at heart, okay? It's for go-getters, it's for bosses, it's for those that say, yeah, it's hot, hot as hell, but when I get home, I can cool off. Yes, it's cold as a witch's titty in the months that it's cold, but I can warm up when I get back home. That's what gift basket designing is for. 
if you're not that type of person, then I'm not going to say that you can't be a gift basket designer. You can be, but you probably won't reach your fullest potential because your fullest potential is going to be on the streets. I don't care if you got a website. I got a website. I don't care if you sell on social media. I sell on social media. But the truth of the matter is, is that not all of your um, your success is not going to fully come until you tap into um, street sales, okay? And then you use those other platforms as like backup, um, backup sales, um, social media, um, pop-up shops, all of that stuff. You use that as like backup sources to make you a couple more thousand dollars. But the streets is where you definitely want to get it and where you want to stay it to make the most of your money, okay? So make sure you guys are getting prepared. Make sure you have your tablecloths. Make sure you got your tent. You're going to need your tent, honey, for this heat that's out here, okay? Unless you in uh, Antarctica, Australia somewhere. Like, I don't know if it stay cold there all year round or not. But unless you're in a place like that, you definitely want to get you a tent to protect you from the sun. Get you some sunglasses. Get you some sun guard. Whatever. Go ahead and do you a um do you a a bag a getaway bag or whatever um to keep in your car with your supplies and everything get your little small cooler if you can't afford to get a cooler if you can't afford to get a cooler then um get you one of those little styrofoam coolers from dollar tree all right so anyway guys i gotta get off because my mom just pulled up but i want to let you guys know that there is money to be made make sure you are designing make sure you are creating and preparing for the street sales my prayer is that you have an amazing um you have an amazing selling season for this season and know that boss lady fee is praying for you get your money honey and fill your bag to the next video bye y'all